guys and welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new here make sure you hit that subscribe button and let's get right into this video so today we are doing a long black stiletto lightning nail art set i'm doing this on my sister and i'm just really excited to get into this video this lightning nail art was so easy and it looked so good in the end i've never done lightning nail art before and let me just say it turned out really good <laughs> it turned out really good for my first time doing it so first we're starting off with nail prep as usual, pushing back the cuticles. You guys know already if you watch my videos. Next we're going in with the nail tips. I'm just gluing them on with some base gel and having her cure them in the light for 30 seconds. Now I'm just making these nails a little bit shorter. She doesn't, she, she probably couldn't live with these nails that long. So I'm just clipping them down into a stiletto shape and I'm just perfecting the shape a little bit with my hand file. This is a 100 grit hand file that I'm using to shape the nails. I am also taking my e-file and perfecting the shape as well as removing the shine from the nail tips and blending the tips in with the natural nail. Next, I'm going in with some nail dehydrator and I'm putting some on the natural nail. I accidentally put it on the whole nail for the pinky, but that's not what you're supposed to do. And then I'm just taking some nail primer and putting it on the natural nail as well. Now I'm taking some base gel and painting a layer on all of the nails and curing that for 30 seconds in my nail lamp. Next, I'm going in with this 001 color from the Gershon Poly Gel Kit that I tried in one of my videos. And it is basically a light, super light pink, very transparent color, and it's basically clear, so I used it for this look. Um, this is basically just the base because I'm going to be painting over these nails. So I'm just using this color. I'm just doing the two bead method, which is my favorite method. I love this method. It's so much easier and it's so much easier to build an apex with this method. I'm just putting a bead at the tip of the nail, fitting that to the tip and blending it in with the natural nail. And I'm just continuing that for all of our nails. I'm using acetone as my slip solution because I still do not have any 91% isopropyl alcohol, which is my favorite thing to use as the slip solution. After the tips are all done and cured, I'm just putting a bead of poly gel near the cuticles of the nails and um, you guys know the drill, I'm just fitting that to the cuticle and blending it into the cured poly gel, making sure to leave a bead of poly gel where I want the apex to be and kind of blending the top of that bead in with the um, rest of the nail so that I don't lose that apex. You basically just want to leave um, a big bead where you want the apex and blend that down, but you don't want to touch the highest part of the bead. It is July 3rd, so tomorrow's the 4th of July, and my neighbors decided that they go and do fireworks early. That's what's happening outside, because when I'm talking, they shoot in a firework, and then I don't want to keep repeating myself. So you guys know I have been uploading for, the, for every day this entire week. And it's almost coming to an end. It's been a lot of hard work. I have to, I've had to film a video every day and then edit a video every day. And that's not what I'm used to. I'm just used to filming a video throughout the week and then editing a video and then filming and then editing and I'm done for the week. This week has been a lot of hard work. I have been going to sleep at like one in the morning trying to get videos ready, trying to get one video ready for the next day. It's not like I'm even doing them in like bulk or anything. So it's just been a lot of work, but still really worth it. It's really fun. I love having the collection of videos in my YouTube. It's just, it's really satisfying to me.
poly gel has been applied. I am just wiping down the nails with some acetone and then going in with my hand file and shaping these nails. These nails, I half, I filed these nails half with the hand file and then half with an e-file because some parts were a little too like thick that I just needed to bring out the e-file for some of the parts of the nails and it made it much easier. Like right here at the sides of the nails were really thick and it would have taken me a long time to shape them up with the hand file so I'm just using my e-file. It was just much quicker. So guys, uh, we are about to hit 10k. We are at 9,000 subscribers. I just hit 9,000 subscribers like a few hours ago. We're gonna hit 10k tomorrow. I know it. I know it for sure. And that means giveaway. Giveaway time tomorrow. But I'll be posting a giveaway video probably Sunday. I'm excited for this giveaway. I'm excited for you guys. I never even considered doing a giveaway because I never knew anyone was gonna sponsor my giveaway kind of thing, you know? So I never really like thought about doing one. We got Model 1s over here sponsoring my giveaway. Shout out to you Model 1s. I love Model 1s. You know I've been rocking with Model 1s since day one. Since day one, I've, I've been using Model 1s. I use my cart Model 1s. Model 1s came through and decided to sponsor my giveaway that I'm gonna be doing. Also, you guys voted on my Instagram. If you follow me on Instagram, you know, I'm not really active, but I try to stay as active as, as I can over there. And I did a poll for the giveaway asking you guys if you wanted one giveaway win winner, but to win an 80, an $80 kit that was really big or have five giveaway winners that and each receive a $40 kit. The winner was five winners and each receiving a $40 kit. So that's what I'm doing. We're doing five winners and I'm so excited. In the giveaway video will be more details on like what to do, how to enter the giveaway kind of thing. So after these nails have been shaped and buffed, I buff my nails. Um, I'm just going in and wiping them off and then using this Amelie, Amy Lee, I'm not really sure how to pronounce it, um, black gel polish and I'm just painting all of the nails black. I really don't paint nails. It's not my favorite thing to do. If you get the polish around the cuticles, it's ho so hard to clean up. So I just stick to laying poly gel, and especially this black polish. It's If you get it around the cuticle, goodbye it's stained your cuticles are stained there's no way you're getting them back to normal maybe it's just this polish yeah so i had to be really careful not to get it around the cuticle area After the nails are painted I'm just going in with a second coat and curing that for 30 seconds I next I'm going in with this white gel polish and my and the savvy land blue indigo blue um, gel polish and mixing that together this is going to be the background for our lightning strike I just got this kind of dark blue but not as dark as the beginning blue and i'm just taking this brush and it was just a random brush and i decided that it would work pretty good and it did work really good i just dipped my brush in a little bit of that polish and kind of dabbed around these lines kind of like a marble but for lightning
And this ring finger, I didn't really like how this came out, so I just wiped it off. And I'm just moving on to the pinky, and this is basically how I created my lightning. This is just step one. You need to add the background, which is this blue color. I chose blue, you can do purple, pink, red, any- literally you can do any color and it would look really cool. Next, I'm just taking this line brush and dipping it in a little bit of this white polish and creating a line in the middle of the blue. And that's what gives it the illusion of lightning. Once I saw that, I was like, yes, this is complete. This is so beautiful. The lightning was just so sick. I loved it. It looked, it looked so cool. I've never done this lightning um, design before. Probably do this in a lot more designs because it is really cool and it is really simple. Like simple nail art that just takes a few steps is just that just makes my heart smile because it looks so good and it's so easy to do that's just what is fun for me i love simple nail art looks good it's so easy After the nail art is applied, I'm just wiping them off and then adding some top coat to all of the nails. Next, I'm going in with some cuticle oil and putting a drop on all of the nails. And here are how the nails turned out. They turned out so cool. The black stiletto, first of all, really lovely. I love a nice, simple stiletto nail. And then the black with the lightning, it was just perfect. These, these, this colors were perfect. The shape was perfect for this nail art design. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys learned how to do some lightning nail art because it's so easy and it looks so cool. Make sure you guys like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm doing a giveaway at 10,000 subscribers and I will see you guys next time.